Hello everyone and welcome to a unit review, one of the last of 2000, whenever the hell this is. What is it, 2013? No, wait, it's 2017. That's right, well, today we are definitely here to talk about one of the queens of mages. One of the most powerful mages that have ever existed in the game, and as soon as my computer stops freezing, there we go. We are here to talk about CG Sakura, one of the more powerful units that has ever existed for mages. First of all, she has just a fantastic kit that we are going to talk about, and who doesn't love our cat girl, Sprite? Her animant, yeah, animant, animantations, of course, are great, and her limit burst, which is super, super cool but can't show because it's Nox's damn fault. Our cat girl CG Sakura is one of the more powerful mages in the game until Trance Terra came along. Now we have her seven star. And let me tell you, her seven star is no slack at all. So let's take a look at my CG Sakura because well, that's what we have to look at. So as you can see, I have her maxed out for magic, but she has some ways to go for HP and MP. In terms of a best setup equipment, it probably could be a little bit better if I truly wanted it to be. But for now, let's just keep focusing. For right now, she has some excellent in terms of equipment, as well as materia on her giving a giant boost to a total of 1652 magic. And it could be better. It could still be better. So we are going to talk about her kit, but not her old kit, her new kit, as well as her super TMR. So let's talk about her super TMR real fast. A 14 defense, 77 magic, 42 spirit robe with 50% to thunder resistance, as well as gaining one limit crystal per turn. Fantastic for any mage. And of course, her regular trust mastery is 40 magic, 20% to MP and 2 Limit Burst Crystals per turn. Her Limit Burst has been charged upwards to at a max 30 rank, or 30 level, a 1800% AoE 40 hit magic attack costing 40 Limit Burst Crystals. It's quite expensive, but that's very, very, very powerful, especially for a magic Limit Burst. But what does she get for equipping her own TMR? Well, she gets a limit burst fill rate of 50%. That'll help you get there faster. 50% equipped magic when two-handing or when dual wielding. And her limit burst goes up 1.2 so, or 1.2 times limit burst damage. So her limit burst gets even stronger. Other than that, her apprentice's candy, which is a reference to Ayaka actually gives her a 100% modifier, 150% modifier to three of her six star level skills that basically are the AOE multi-hit minus four resistance to those element attacks. So that's pretty good. She has Thunder God's Divine Protection, an AOE three turn, 100% thunder resistance. So if you're fighting anyone who uses lightning damage, Bring CG Sakura. Why not? She has Forbidden Spell, Adazakura. Available on turn 1 and on a 7 turn cooldown, an AoE except self 10,000 HP recovery, 100 MP, and AoE except self 3 turn plus 130% to attack, defense, magic, and spirit of the party. That's pretty nice of her. It also fills everyone else's limit burst crystals at 10 crystals for each of them, but she takes 90% damage, so it's fine so long as you have a healer. Now the cost is not MP, it is actually Limit Burst Crystals, a full Limit Burst to use this ability. But hey, might help you out. She also has Thunder Reinforce, which allows her to add Thunder to attacks for 3 turns, so she can give Thunder element to anyone she so chooses. That's pretty nice. She also has Divine Thunder, a 99 MP 4 turn cooldown, 
self remove magic debuffs and self two turn plus 100 percent thunder resistance learning the ability to cast five times any of her thunder abilities dear god we've seen we've seen double cast we've seen triple cast and of course trans terra thought she was the queen with forecasting but here comes cg sakura showing that five is even better unfortunately it is only for one turn so it's not super reliable especially needing a four turn cooldown but the fact that it is available on turn one is pretty good too and she has rebel intent oh oh wait sorry i missed the ability she gets 20 percent mp at level 115 and she gets an 80 percent modifier to one of her abilities as well as an extra 30 percent magic and 50 percent thunder resistance and don't forget that she has a bonus ability as well giving herself some regen and sleep and petrify resistance from the event abilities which is something important to remember so let's go back really quickly wherever my game is and we're going to do a bit of a showcase and if you're wondering about the music i haven't chosen any final fantasy 14 music before but i think it's about time we fix that so for this party we have kind of brought basically just a thunder party because why not and the other thing that we have brought as well is where the heck is it now and naru just because she is a thunder unit as well so first of all we will show off her quintuple casting in a minute so we want to show her with a hundred and thirty percent boost as well and we are going to get we're just going to try and do pretty much everything. We also want to show CG Sakura stats just shy of 2000 magic with the boost. And so we will charge up for a real turn. We want to get as much damage as we possibly can. And we want to choose, of course, her five time ability so if you know anything about cg sakura cg sakura has some great chaining abilities with herself for a limit burst so if you have any friend units very very powerful as well as her main thunder magic stacks going back to what it basically is somewhere possibly if i can find it maybe I know it's somewhere in here. Just wanted to see the percent. Oh, dang it. There it is. It's a 300% at its regular form. Single target, one hit thunder attack with 150% to each use to a total of 1500%. So you have to use it a whole bunch of times. But it has been famously shown in Trials to just be a massive stacking bonus. So we want to do this and this debuff for thunder. And here comes the quintuple cast. Of course, it will last far longer than the actual chain. But this is definitely one of CG Sakura's best things about her, is that she can just massively chain herself up to being an incredibly strong Thunder. But now, of course, we have the problem of every time we do this, there's just not enough turns to truly show off what we can do. But, like I said, she can give a thunder element to others' attacks. So, 
So in the meantime, we'll buff and... Sorry, I just brought Nal and Naru because she's Thunder-themed. But eh, you can get an idea for how strong it'll be. As such, she can also make a couple of units Thunder Elemental Chainers. And that is actually very, very interesting as well. It gives her some extra capabilities for what she can do. And can, she can act as still a wonderful support unit and a wonderful attack damage unit too. So we'll try and get the big chain going here on our last turn. And unfortunately she just... Why don't you have your limit burst ready? Don't you know? CG Sakura's new abilities allow her to quickly rack up damage a lot faster, and that's one of the best things about her. She was already incredibly strong when she was at a 6 star, now she's even stronger that she has gotten her 7 star. Uh, she's probably... Dare I say it? I think she is quite possibly... Her potential uses have gotten a lot bigger, especially with CG Hayu entering the fray, as CG Hayu's limit burst kind of wants him to have Thunder Element. So, if you can get Thunder Element on your attacks, which is difficult because CG Hayu really w works better as a true dual hand unit. So, if you keep True Dual Hand and just use CG Sakura to give the Thunder ability to him, he can actually be very, very, very... CG Sakura has a lot more uses nowadays. And, of course, just the magic boost to her is great. We'll see if we can't charge her limit first real fast. To show what that does. Now I believe mine is around a level 120-ish. But with more time you can probably do some really really cool things with CG Sakura. Then just being stuck in a training dummy where you constantly have to worry about being under 5 turns. But she works great with a ton of units, and there are a lot of potential in who you can chain her with, because there are Thunder Great Swords that are not super difficult to get anyway. And what's more, she can actually add Thunder Element to herself and then use her limit burst, which is kind of cool. And I'm a little... Here we go. Ignoring the knock slow down for as much as I can. Gotta love Lauren. She is so, so, so good. So now we are just going to do a super chain. Or as big a one as we possibly can. Not 
Not bad. Pretty decent. And I do want to try one more really quickly after this. So the more CG Sakuras you have, is she worth more, uh, her super TMR if you have four or two of her? I would say that she is like Lunara or Duke, where having two of them is potentially really, really amazing. Uh, not the best for 10-man trials, because of course you can only bring one, but for challenges, she's pretty damage dealing. Taking a look at just her base thunder attack at its base level in this. I hit him for approximately a million, and that's before any boosting to her character. Or debuffing the enemy. And, of course, much, much stronger when she has a fellow CG Sakura with her because she can basically kind of self-boost with her thunder attacks. And the damage is stacking up quickly, quickly, quickly. Let us throw on that. And yeah, we'll just keep going. This is turn three. We want to stack as much before we quintuple cast. So again, without any killers. The damage mounts up very, very quickly, which is nice. Uh, yep, just do that. Hopefully we can get Lauren's Limit Burst fully charged. Yes, we can. Alright, so, give the boost. We'll wait one turn. And if I've done everything right, we should be able to show off a pretty damn strong turn. Here we are. There we are. There we are. All right. So here we go. One, two, one, two, and three. There you go. That feels pretty good. And again, we, as far as my calculations, we shouldn't be maxed out on how much we can push CG Sakura's thunder attacks up. But a total in one turn of 118 million without killers. So while this is going quite long, I do want to show off just a little bit So it drops her magic by about 50 points, but it should be, in general, better. And I'm going to do something. If my thing wants to, let's just give it a little bit. of a change since this video is running a little long but CG Sakura is worth it so we want to do as much damage as we possibly can so we'll start by 
thunder resisting. Enhancing. And we will start going right to town with her thunder attack. Now she has man killer and man killer Kai, which should make her attacks generally stronger. Yeah, slightly stronger. Because we want to just see how much damage she can really stack up. And CG Sakura has just been one of my favorite units for a really, really long time of the Brave Exvius units. Alright, so turn four is important. We're going to stack as much as we can before we get there. And we want to guess we don't have to reboost this turn we can actually do it next turn so she's already doing 11 million points of damage by herself unchained to the enemy though there is the thunder down Little worried we're not going to get these two. Ooh, the game is lagging hard, so bear with it. And we want to awaken Siju Sakura. All right, here we are. It's time to test it out. If Nox crashes, then that's not my fault. And there you have it, a brief look into CG Sakura and how powerful she can be. She is insane. As a matter of fact, I may try pushing her with more killers instead of more magic and see how that goes. But for now, here is an idea of just, she is a beast, she is insane. With a little bit better of a party setup, which I always admit, first of all, for anyone who said, Oh, in your Duke video, you, you could have a better setup, you could have better equipment. I know I can. I'm not a super whale, I do other things besides this game. That's okay. That really doesn't bother me at all. But I don't show you these to show, oh, this is the best you can ever get. I like to let people's imaginations run, and also I don't have the equipment to make the best. But it does show you just how cool these units can be, and even the units that you think aren't very great, 
are pretty awesome too. So that's it for the look at CG Sakura, this 25 minute long video now, which I am going to cut short. In total, yeah, I think CG Sakura is still the queen of the mages. And I don't, I'm really scared what could possibly dethrone her. Till then, I will see you all next time for the next unit review.